Hi everyone. How are you? I hope everyone doing good and safe. Welcome to today's class. We are discussing from last few classes. We are discussing metal cluster chapter. Metal clusters chapter. In the last class, I have explained you Wet's rule. I have explained you Wet's rule, which is also called as polyhedral skeletal electron pair theory. Electron pair theory. This particular theory is to define is to define the structural aspects of metal clusters and mostly it is related to high nuclear metal carbonyl clusters and where I have explained you what is the theory and uh, I have also given one of the example to define the or uh, to examine the wet's rule at that particular example and completing after completing of that example i have uh, given you some of the exercises for you uh, in this exercise i said you to find out uh, 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 structural aspects of three of metal clusters iron cluster osmium cluster rhodium cluster some of you are done and I will appreciate for that and some of you are uh, very silent very very silent or not participating in it so I once again uh, say you to do those examples so it is every time what we what I explain you just listen you just listen and you just understand but very few times uh, you have you will get the chance to uh, do some exercises and uh, project your uh, understanding what you have understood understood that you can reflect right so such uh, few times such like few times uh, yesterday i have given some examples some exercise for you so i hope you may do uh, all those examples and find find out the structural structures of those metal clusters so today we are going to discuss the capping rule which may be same or which may be relative with the wet's rule before having the capping rule i will explain you one of the uh, exercise what one of the example exercise what i given yesterday so that let's start then next by we will go for uh, capping rule and many more examples for capping rule so here i have given you osmium cluster such as 18 carbonyl 6 osmium cluster and for this i said you to find out the structure right so every time when it comes for the elucidation of structure of the such uh, metal cluster we have to start with total electron count we have to calculate first total electron count where the formula as it is number of metal atoms into um, valency of metal plus number of ligands into ligand donated electrons plus or minus oxidation state and number of metals sorry number of metal metal bonds into into two into two that is the number of 
electron participating in metal metal bond. So here what we have 18 carbonyl hexaosmium cluster. Right. So here the number of metals can be 6 and valency of metal osmium metal osmium we know that it is concentrated into iron group iron ruthenium osmium like that so it has the valency electrons of d6s2 which means 8 electrons it carry each osmium in valency and number of ligands what we have carbonyls here it is 18 number and ligand electron donate donating carbonyl donating electrons will be 2 and here also one more uh, additional point we have we are missing here this is not there the number of electrons are not there the number of metal metal bonds are not there uh, after getting a plus or minus oxidation state we have to add the number of hetero atoms into valency of hydride. This is what the point right. So after getting that oxidation state. Oxidation state what we have on coordination state it is minus 2. Minus 2 it has comma. Next what we have number of hydroatoms. Here there are no hydroatom and the valency of hydroatom will also be 0. Right. Now total electron count can be equal to 6 number of metals into metal valency of 8 plus number of ligands 18 into ligand donating electrons 2 plus or minus oxidation state as it is carrying 2 electrons excess on coordination sphere minus 2 charge nothing but there are 2 additional electrons are there more 2 electrons are uh, uh, cluster so far plus 2 we have to say and there is no heteroatom so the heteroatom and the number of valency of heteroatom will be 0 right. so that is 0 into 0 so now 6 into 8 it is 48 plus 18 into 2 it will be 36 plus and it having a plus 2 right so it means 48 plus 2 is 50, 50 plus 36 is 86, the total electron count as it is 86, right. This particular number, total electron count number, reflecting that the number of electrons which are coming in a bond, right, which are coming in a bonding in, uh, in the cluster, right, in 18 carbon, right? hexa osmium cluster, there are 86 electrons are in bonding right so coming to next we know that the relation between total electron count with skeletal electrons and non skeletal electrons right so skeletal electrons are reflecting the uh, metal to ligand bonding electrons plus and non skeletal uh, the skeletal electrons are reflecting the electrons between metal and metal bond and non skeletal electrons reflecting the metal to ligand bond right so total electron count reflect the all so total electron count will be equal to non skeletal electron plus skeletal electrons right so now uh, total electron count as we counted it as 86 now 12 into n n it means number of metal atoms right so those are 6 uh, the last names are 6 plus 2 into n plus 1. Here we have to find out n small n which is saying that what takes or vertices, right. Thus vertices uh, suggest the polyhedron, skeletal polyhedron it suggests, right. Thus we have to know from this particular uh, solution, right. So once if we summarize this, 86 is equal to 12 into 6 is it is 72 plus 2 into n plus 1. So it nothing but 2 into n plus 1 is equal to 86 minus 72. Nothing but 14. 14. So n plus 1 will be equal to 14 by 2. It nothing but equal to 7. 
So n equal to 7 minus 1 is nothing but 6. So as the vertices number is 6, as the vertices number is 6, the polyhedron will be octahedral. Octahedral. Right. So thus octahedral polyhedron, we have to see that E is that closo or nido or arachno. Right. To find out that we have to check the cases. Right. We have to check the relation between skeletal electrons to one of the equations. Right. Different equations we have to try. So we know that the number of skeletal electron it equal to 2 into n plus 1 where the small n vertex number we calculated as 6 so 6 plus 1 it equal to 2 into 7 that means 14 number of electrons are counting per uh, skeletal electrons right now if it is equal to 2n plus 1 we have to check it that is it equal to 2n plus 1 so uh, thus 2 into n it is nothing but number of metal atoms that is 6 plus 2 it's nothing but 6 plus 2 is 12 plus 2 is equal to 14 therefore we can say that skeletal electron number is equal to 2 into capital N plus 2 therefore the structure will be structure will be what it is closo octahedral closo octahedral right like that we can define the structure so now if we draw the structure it would be like this here i will draw If you draw it scale, it will come very neatly. Right. So I am giving you a rough diagram. Right. So each column side will be occupies osmium. There are six corner sides, or we can say six vertices. The six vertices will be occupied by the six osmium metal ions right. like this it would be the structure right where is all the vertices are occupying by all the metal atoms so far it called as close if some one of the metal if it is missing from these all six vertices it will be said as needle if two vertices misses it will be uh, arachno if it is missing three vertices it will be said uh, hydro right like that there will be the structures right so other two examples i once again say that try and find out the structures okay right now let's start one more example so as we have the structure uh, bits rule to defining the structure aspects of uh, metal carbon ester every time it may not be uh, ideal to find out the structure it may say that some of the metal clusters will violate the uh, beds rule right let us take this example and this example is nickel cluster the nickel cluster one of nickel cluster is uh, uh, will deviate from the beds rule that is we will discuss now 
डोडेका कार्बोनाइल पेंटा निकल क्लस्टर राइट पेंटा निकल क्लस्टर सो वंस इफ यू ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लस्टर राइट इट वुड बी हैव डिफरेंट क्लस्टर डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर इन प्रैक्टिकली इट इज शोइंग डिफरेंट लेट अस सी व्हाट वुड बी द स्ट्रक्चर सो टू हैव द स्ट्रक्चरल एस्पेक्ट्स वी हैव टू इनिशियली कैलकुलेट टोटल इलेक्ट्रॉन काउंट again one more time the formula for total electron count is equal to number of metals into um, valency of metals plus number of ligands into ligand donating electrons or electron donating electron donated by ligand sites plus or minus oxidation state plus number of heteroatoms into valency of This would be the formula. So, by looking the structure, the, by looking the formula, right? We are having the number of metal atoms. It is five, five nickel. So, five, five. Valency of nickel. We will know the nickel valency as it is atomic number is thirty six, twenty eight. It will be have D eight, three D eight, four S two electrons. In totally, it has ten electrons in valency. Eighteen D D A R beta. Two in S orbital, right? Plus number of ligands set here. The carbonyls are twelve into carbonyl donating electrons. It donate two electrons, right? Plus or minus oxidation state. As it is having a negative charge, we have to add. So it means two electrons we have to be add, right? Why we have to add even it having the nice negative charge? Negative charge indicating that there are two more electrons. Uh, it addition to the all the electron count, right? So it adding two more. So far we have to add plus. Right? If there is positive charge, it suggesting the deficiency, right? Deficiency or loss of electrons. The negative charge indicating the gain of electron, additional electron. So far we have to add plus two. If there is plus charge, then we have to subtract the plus charge indicating that it is having a deficiency of electron. So as it is a negative charge, we are adding plus, and it is two so far two, right? And there is no valency, there is no hetero atom so far into zero, right? Plus zero, and valency of uh, hetero atom will be also zero. Five into ten will be fifty, plus twelve into two will be twenty four, plus two, in total to get seventy six, seventy six, right? So. Now, relation between total electron count with skeletal and non-skeletal electrons, right? That is, total electron count is equal to skeletal electrons plus non-skeletal electrons, right? That seventy-six is equal to two into small n plus one plus two l into n. N it is five, n it is five. So, in totally, it will comes as seventy-six is equal to two into n plus one. Plus twelve into five will be sixty, right? So now two n two n is equal to seventy six minus sixty. It is equal to sixteen. It is equal to sixteen. Now n plus one will be equal to sixteen by two. It is equal to eight. N is equal to eight minus one. It is equal to seven. So as n equal to seven. The polyhedron, the skeletal polyhedron will be right. What it would be? Penta, right? Trigonal by pyramidal. Pentagonal by pyramidal. Pentagonal by pyramidal. Isn't it? By pyramidal will be the polyhedron, right? This is what we got actually, right? This is what we got actually. With respect of let's say, but but in practical result, in practical results, this particular nickel cluster, nickel cluster shows as exhibit is exhibit. Exhibit the 
ट्राइगोनल बाई पिरामिडल स्ट्रक्चर बाई पिरामिड ज्योमेट्री सो सो इट मींस सम ऑफ वन ऑफ वन आर टू एग्जांपल्स मे वायलेट्स द बेड्स रूम राइट सो एवरी टाइम इट मे नॉट बी एग्जैक्ट वन ऑफ टू एग्जांपल्स मे हैव सम वायलेशन Let us draw the structure of this particular example. Okay. 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 Trigonal by pyramid. such trigonal by pyramidal structure nickel may consist right next we have to now go for next new topic today we has the new topic of capping rule capping rule in capping rule actually the capping rule is uh, additional product of uh, bets rule actually why because uh, all the theory all the calculations will be uh, taken from the bets rule right this particular capping rule uh, arises due to the metal clusters uh, different metal clusters like right? so when we go for bets rule we have seen that the metal cluster having uh, closo nido arachno and hydro where it means that the polyhedron whatever the polyhedron defined it where it may have all the vertices will be occupied by the metal atoms in some time it it may misses some of the metal atom in the polyhedron right one if it is misses nido Two, if it is misses in the polyhedron, it will send the arachno structure, arachno polyhedron. If it is missing three metal atoms in the polyhedron, it will be said as hydro polyhedron. So it's saying that the number of metal atoms may be deficient with respect uh, with respect of vertices. Right, the number of metal atoms will be lesser uh, than the vertices number. Right, such examples can be uh, defined it in the wedge rule but it is not every time such uh, metal clusters existing there are the metal clusters which may exceeds the metal atoms uh, with respect of uh, vertices the what the metal atoms will be more when it compare with the vertices number right so in such case we we have to define the structure to so to defining such Uh, excess metal atom um, structures we we will be have capping rule we will be have capping rule where it said that in metal cluster metal carbonyl cluster sum will have more metal metals than polyhedron vertices in this case the excess metal will will be uh, will be placed in placed 
on one of trigonal face face of polyhedron thus metal will be called as capping atom capping atom and all the phenomena will be called as capping group right what he is saying that in metal carbon and cluster there will be few carbon and clusters which have more metals than the polyhedron vertices number so in such case the more whatever the excess metals are there they have to be placed on the polyhedron trigonal face what we said that polyhedron will have multiple trigonal faces so in those one of one or uh, one of trigonal faces will be occupied by the one of the metal excess metal so such excess metals will be called as capping atom and whole the phenomena will be called as capping group so to calculate the excess or capping atoms we have one of the simple formula the capping atoms is equal to number of metals minus number of vertices which means capital n minus small n right so that is the simple formula so to know the small n we have to just follow the wets rule calculation part as that total electron we have to calculate initially for the metal cluster thereafter we have to define the total electron count as it is additional product of skeletal non skeletal where on the skeletal electrons it will be defined the vertices small n vertices number after getting the small n right vertices number we just have to see that the capping atom is equal to number of metals minus number of vertices it will be says that how many uh, excess atoms are there to cap on a trigonal face of the polyhedron so here we will go with one of the example there you will be have much more clarity about uh, such uh, capping group let us have one example example right osmium cluster we are going to take 22 carbonyl 8 osmium cluster we will going to see which has a charge of minus 2 right so in defining such 22 carbonyl 18 osmium cluster initially we will go with the total electron count this is the cluster so in defining it initially we have to calculate the total electron count same formula same everything calculation after getting the n number we have to just add this particular formula right so total electron count is equal to what number of metal ions into valency of metal atom plus number of ligands into ligand donating electrons plus r minus oxidation state plus number of heteroatoms into valency of heteroatom right so again the number of heteroatoms as it is having osmium 8 osmiums it would be 8 valency of metal osmium will be again the osmium it comes from the iron group so it will be have 8 electrons in valency plus number of ligands we have 22 carbonyls and ligand donating electrons carbonyl will donate two electrons plus r minus oxidation state as again the coordination sphere having minus 2 charge which means it saying that two excess electrons are there on the metal cluster so we have to add two electrons and there is no heter atom there is no what uh, when there is no heter atom there will not be any uh, valency of heter atom so it will be leaving 
8 into 8, 8 8 is 64 plus 22 into 2, 44 plus 2, right, it equal to uh, 10, 1, 10, it will be, right, 64 plus 44 will be 198, 198 plus 2 will be 110, right, so this is what the total left mark on, now we have to uh, look into that, total electron count is equal to non skeletal electrons plus skeletal electrons that means 110 is equal to 12 into n number of metal atoms that is 8 plus 2 into so which nothing but 110 12 into 8 will be 96 plus 2 into small n plus 1 so now 2 into small n plus 1 is equal to 110 minus 96 it is equal to 14 it is equal to 14 now n plus 1 is equal to 14 by 2 it is equal to 7 so n is equal to 7 minus 1 it is equal to 6 so as the n equal to 6 therefore polyhedron will be what it would be polyhedron? Octahedron. Octahedron. Right. So now we have to see that when it octahedron, right, and having so vertices number is six and the number of metal atoms are eight. So it's saying that the number of uh, metal atoms are excess than the vertices number. So in this case, uh, we will not go for the needle arachno or hydro calculation we will go for the capping atoms right number of capping, capping atoms we have to calculate so for that for that the number of capping atoms is equal to number of metals minus number of vertices so which equal to number of metal atoms as means are 8 minus number of vertices as we calculated is 6 small n is equal to 6 this can be capital N minus small n right so it equal to 2 so it is saying that there are 2 excess uh, metal atoms are existing on uh, polyhedron cluster right asmin polyhedron polyhedron skeleton right so we have to show that the structure we have to show so let us show the structure here there is no space let us show here you see So initially we have to draw the polyhedron structure that is octahedral. So I am drawing that. After getting this polyhedron structure, now we have to show the two capping atoms additional two atoms metal atoms are there and thus we have to locate so in this particular octahedron there are eight trigonal faces will be there so you can choose any of two right whatever you go you can choose that the two trigonal faces you can choose and there you can keep the uh, asmiums right two of asmiums right so here it has six asmiums we have two more uh, left asmiums in the middle cluster that we have to show right so now i will take the particular thing this trigonal face i will choose right these three asmiums trigonal face i will choose there i will place the one of the asmium 
right like that when we can put right so another time i will choose this particular trigonal this right so selecting that that's it that's how the bicapped this is what the structure will be said as bicapped octahedral structure right now the structure or geometry can be titled as bicapped octahedral right like that you can have multiple metal clusters to examine their uh, structural aspects so here again i will add some of uh, some of them i will give you as it is an exercise you can do at your homes and you can give your replace your answers in youtube comments or in whatsapp group let you have right find out the structures of following metal carbonyl clusters right. you know down another one of osmium cluster i will give you 21 carbonyl 7 osmium cluster it is there is no charge so next i will give you 24 carbonyl carbon 10 osmium cluster with charge of minus 2 right and i will give you one more 16 carbonyl 16 carbonyl c 16 carbonyl rhodium 7 rhodium cluster with the charge of minus 3 so here the examples for your exercise right do these examples right as i suggested the calculation part and give your answers in the youtube comments right so here i will stop by the next we will continue the other topics in middle class chapter so here i signing off bye